Thanks to overpopulation, industrialization, and new electricity demanding cutting-edge technology, global energy demands are exponentially increasing. Our planet is slowly shifting from fossil fuel-based energy to renewable energies, meaning the era of oil, natural gas, and coal may be coming to an end. Especially in developing countries, there is a demand for renewable, cheap energy where nuclear and fossil fuel power stations are not in distance. For this reason, electrical engineers and energy experts are looking towards the sun for electricity generation. Being a gargantuan ball of perpetual nuclear fusions, the energy from the sun is virtually boundless. On an average day, the sun gives us 120,000 terawatts of energy at any given moment, and theoretically, it doesn't cost a dime. Unfortunately, solar energy accounts for only 1% of the world's energy generation, and given that it is the cream of the crop for renewable energy, we could definitely be doing better. The barrier to entry is being able to harness the sun's photographic energy and turn it into usable electric energy. Let's discuss three of such methods. Number one, photovoltaic solar cells. Solar cells are the most common and cost-effective way to harvest energy from the sun and turn it into electrical energy. If you have solar panels installed on your house, there are about several hundred photovoltaic cells lying above your head. Each cell is composed of two compound semiconductor wafers. At the base of the cell is a polycrystalline wafer made of silicon and boron. Atop this wafer sits a monocrystalline silicon and phosphorus wafer. When a photon of light passes through these wafers, it is provoked into an energy exchange which releases a single electron. A potential difference is created and the electron is collected as electrical power. When laid in direct sunlight, these photovoltaic cells can generate a consistent yield of electric energy. A cluster of photovoltaic cells produces direct current electricity, which can be switched to alternating current through the use of an inverter so it can be sent to houses. The discovery and development of photovoltaic cells was an essential innovation in electricity generation. With more research into the proficiency of each PV cell on a subatomic level, we can develop increasingly powerful solar cells and create efficient clusters. Anywhere from about 32 to 96 photovoltaic cells are used in a single solar panel, and the electricity produced is virtually free, continuous throughout sunny days, and the only carbon footprint is the manufacturing cost of the cells. Number two, black body radiation. Step outside on a sunny day and you will feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Where is this warmth coming from? It's certainly not the warm air, because if you step into a shadowed area, you'll feel the biting cold return to your skin. It's actually the infrared radiation given out by the sun, hitting the surface of your skin and stimulating thermal receptors that read that warm feeling. The sun delivers an expansive range of radiation at frequencies across nearly the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Materials with the right chemical compositions can absorb this energy and hold on to it. They are called dark bodies, in reference to the black body concept of quantum physics, a theoretical object which absorbs incoming radiation of every wavelength. Although we don't have any black bodies, dark bodies are all around us every day. Electromagnetic radiation has long been used for heating in many passive heating systems, such as cooking cookies or eggs in the sun, or in the ancient Roman bathhouses and ancient Egyptian homes. Modern solutions like thermal solar panels and thermosiphons depend on the physics of black body radiation and can absorb infrared waves, turning them into thermal energy. However, these solutions are less effective on an industrial power generation level. Number three, solar water heaters. A great example of a thermal solar energy harvesting application that is commonly implemented in sunny climates around the globe is a solar water heater. These use siphons to circle water through a dark body board. A photovoltaic board is oriented towards the sun and the dark surface efficiently absorbs infrared waves which is conducted into the circulating water currents. The water is continuously cycled through this loop, warming it equally, purely through the sun's energy. If you want to see more videos about engineering and physics, you can subscribe to 26 Dimensions here or by clicking below. You can also see all my videos about space travel and astrophysics in this playlist, which is also linked below. Please consider leaving a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.